Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn? In this session we are going to install media pipe on our Raspberry Pi 4 Raspbian legacy version ok. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel ok friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends we are going to install the media pipe library on Raspbian Buster 32 bit version ok and with the help of media pipe library we are going to detect 468 facial landmarks ok so let's get started simply before we move to our practical friends i just want to show you here if you visit a raspberry pi dot com which is the raspberry pi official website ok and just uh, click on the software scroll down and we need to go inside see all download options uh, then uh, as you can see the Raspberry Pi Foundation is basically update their images ok. So now as you can see this is what uh, Raspbian OS bull site 32 bit images ok. Raspberry Pi OS with desktop and the release date is now as you can see the January 28, 2022 it means this is the latest Raspbian OS bull site 32 bit images ok. So you need to simply download their latest images because the latest images comes with the latest updates ok. So this is for the Raspberry OS bull set 32 bit then if you scroll down so as you can see uh, this is what the Raspberry OS bull side 64 bit images ok. So Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit bull side as you can see bull side and this is also updated versions ok. Just scroll down as I told you in this session we are going to use a Raspberry Pi OS legacy which is the Buster upgraded version Raspberry Pi OS Buster legacy ok. So I have download a Raspberry Pi OS legacy with desktop image ok. Then simply you need to download the image ok. So there is a light version is also available ok. So I have already download the image and I have already installed the Raspbian Buster legacy this is what the Raspbian Buster legacy that is it. Then we are going to install the OpenC we are not going to build a package we are going to simply install the package with the help of apt command so sudo apt install python 3 hyphen opencv and just hit enter it will install the opencv on raspbian buster that is it this is the 32 bit version ok if I run the command uname hyphen m as you can see arm uh, v7l it means this is the 32 bit version ok. So I have already installed the python 3 opencv package that is it then uh, we need to upgrade the numpy package for media pipe so sudo pip3 install uh, sudo pip3 install space hyphen capital u then our package name which is the numpy and just hit enter so command is what sudo space pip3 space install space hyphen capital u then the numpy this is what our package name ok it will upgrade the numpy package. So we have opencv installed we have upgrade our numpy package then our main package which is the media pipe library so sudo uh, pip3 install media pipe ok so p3 install media pipe then we need to mention r5 4 so right now i am working with raspberry pi 4 model so i need to mention media pipe hyphen r5 4 suppose if you are working with the raspberry pi 3 model simply you need, you need to mention here uh, r5 3 so package is what media pipe hyphen r5 3 for raspberry pi 3 right now I am on Raspberry Pi 4 so media pipe hyphen R Pi 4 just hit enter it will install the media pipe library on our Raspberry Pi 4 that is it. Then we need here our camera so right now I am going to use the USB camera of course you can use the Raspberry Pi 4 camera module also I already created the video how to install or how to configure the camera module with the Raspberry Pi 4 you can watch the video and just configure the camera module ok. So right now in this session I am going to use the USB camera. So I have connect the camera. So sudo raspi hyphen config hit enter 
then we need to go inside the third one option which is the interface hit enter then first one option camera simply hit enter then come to the yes hit enter and the camera interface is enabled because i have already enabled the camera when you first time uh, enable uh, it will ask you to reboot okay so just uh, reboot uh, uh, raspberry pi 4 once that's it so i'm not going to reboot because i have already enabled the camera that's it. so i'm going to close the window so we have open cv installed we have also numpy upgrade we have media pipe installed and we have our webcam also ready so now simply go to the menu programming tony python id and it will open our tony python id then inside that i have created a test.py file and as you can see i have import the cv2 module then import media pipe as mp okay then cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture then i have here a video dot mp4 file inside slash home slash pi slash downloads okay so cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture i need to mention my video file part okay so slash home slash pi downloads then the video file name then while through then this is how we basically read our video file always so this is what our basic program for reading the video file okay so i am going to simply run the code then we will have our uh, video frame means we will have our video file okay and as you can see this is what our video perfect and we can basically use our media pipe for getting our facial landmarks of 468 facial landmarks okay simple so i am going to stop the code now what we are going to do we are going to create here our variable okay so let's call it uh, mesh or let's make it like this way mp underscore face mesh okay mp underscore face mesh is equal to mp dot solution okay mp dot solution dot face uh, face mesh okay so mp underscore face underscore mesh is equal to mp dot solution dot face underscore mesh then face mesh is equal to mp underscore face underscore mesh dot face face mesh okay save the code so mp underscore face underscore mesh is equal to mp dot solution face mesh okay then face underscore mesh is equal to mp underscore face mesh which is our this variable this one okay so i have call it here mp underscore face underscore mesh dot face mesh okay so if we run the code there is no error we have successfully call our media pipe library okay that's it simply stop the code now what we want to do first we need to convert our bgr format with the rgb because open cv is always work with the bgr format so we need to convert our bgr format frame into rgb so after cv2 resize we need to mention rgb underscore frame this is just a variable again you can use any variable then rgb underscore frame okay so we are going to use cv2 dot cvt cvt color okay cv2 dot cvt color then inside that we are going to pass our frame then cv2 dot color bgr2 rgb this is how we co convert our uh, bgr format into rgb okay so frame cv2 color bgr2 rgb save the code first and then if we show our rgb frame so i need to pass here rgb frame rgb frame okay then save the code run the code as you can see it's now blue because we convert our bgr format frame into rgb that's it so so far so good now what we want to do we want to uh, basically here simply uh, now we want to process our image okay 
So, we are going to use after RGB frame, we are going to use a results as just a variable results is equal to we are going to use the face mesh variable. Okay. So, let us call the face mesh over here face mesh okay. face mesh dot we are going to process. So, process and inside that we need to pass our RGB frame that is it. Okay. So, simply save the code. Okay. So, results is equal to face mesh this is what our variable face mesh. So, we need to call here face mesh dot process and inside that we need to pass our RGB frame that is it. Now, we are going to create the for loop. So, for facial for facial landmarks in this results okay this results we are going to use this results okay so for facial landmarks in results dot multi face multi face landmarks that's it okay now simply if we print the facial landmarks okay save the code and run the code here this is what our frame and we have here x and y and z coordinates so we need only x and y coordinates okay so stop the code and what we are going to do we are going to simply uh, call here the one facial point okay one facial point so simply how to do this so we are going to make a pt1 as a single facial point okay so pt1 okay pt1 is equal to our facial landmarks facial facial landmarks dot landmark ok. So, pt1 is equal to facial underscore landmarks ok. This is what we mentioned here a for loop inside for basically for a facial landmarks. So, we need to call uh, that facial landmarks over here. So, facial landmarks dot landmark and then we need to mention the index number of our point it start with 0 and at the 468. So, we need only first point so 0 ok. Then now if we print pt1 let us save the code and run the code as you can see now we have here x and y coordinates for a single point a single facial landmark ok which is the 0. So, stop code. Now, what we want to do? We are going to basically mention here a pt1 dot x. Okay. So, x is equal to pt1 dot x, then y is equal to pt1 pt1 dot y. Okay. So, print x and y save the code run the code as you can see here we have here a two values as you can see it start with 0 and another one is also start with the 0. Now, what we want to do we have now here x and y. So, we want to convert these values somehow in coordinates we are going to multiply this x and y with our width and height our frame width and height like this way our frame width is what? Uh, 640 is our frame width and 480 is our frame height. So, we need to multiply here multiply by first width then uh, we need to multiply height with y ok. So, 480 like this way x is equal to pt1 dot x multiply by our width which is the 640 then y is equal to p t 1 dot y multiply by 480 which is our frame height ok. So, now if we print x and y we will get a uh, coordinates, but in floating value ok. So, as you can see here we have now the coordinates it is a uh, 3 3 4 or here also 3 3 4 something like this way. 
but it, it it's come with the floating type okay so we need to convert into int format so simply stop the code i am going to stop the code here and we need to mention like this way here first we need to mention int here also we are going to mention uh, int okay that's it now if we run the code now there is no floating value we have a perfect coordinates now we now here now there is no need to print x and y so simply what we are going to do we are going to draw the circle so cv2 dot circle we are going to draw the circle on our frame so of course we need to mention frame then x and the y x and y then the radius let's make it 3 then the color let's make it uh, red then the thickness 3 that's it okay so cv2 dot circle frame where we are going to draw our uh, circle we are going to draw our circle on frame then x and y coordinates then the radius 3 then the color red and then the thickness then we now mention here right now we need to change rgb frame with our original frame because we want to draw the circle on our frame then we need to show our uh, circle on our main frame so we need to use here our main frame c2 dot in show frame that's it so if all is good then we can see the single circle on our point our special landmark point okay as you can see here on frame just a minute here as you can see there is our circle this is what our first single facial point and we successfully detected okay so now if we want to go with a fourth facial landmark simply min, uh, remove the zero and mention the number four and as you can see this is what the fourth one point and this is on the uh, nose okay as you can see here so this is how basically you can uh, call a particular number facial landmarks so how to draw all 468 facial landmarks simply here we need to mention again a for loop so for for i in range for i in range start with 0 end at the 468 this is what our uh, index or this is what our range okay for facial landmarks simply then we need to move the pt1 here and cv2 circle also here okay then we need to pass i okay because i is now our facial landmarks range which start with 0 and end at the 468 so if i save the code if i run the code okay there is i forgot to mention i okay simply save the code and run the code now as you can see we have all the points on the face what uh, we are going to do here we are going to simply uh, change the radius and then thickness also let's make it 2 then then it will look more beautiful okay as you can see how good it is so th this is our all 468 facial landmarks points we have successfully detected okay so uh, we, we we detected the facial landmarks on video frame means a video file now if i remove the path of video file and i need to mention